What can stop you from starting your business today? Hi, my name is Stanley Kamu. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what can stop you from starting your business today. So I'm going to my website right now where I am going to show you a blog that I wrote where I talk about what can stop you from starting your business. And let's go to my website and I will show you. All right. If you haven't done that yet, you can visit my website. My website is www.millionetech.com and you can read uh, all my blogs because I have a lot of blogs right now. I started like a year ago, but I didn't focus on blog. But I was learning. I was learning how to do videos. I was learning how to do blogs. I was learning how to run my social media account. It was a lot for me. I didn't know where to focus, but I am glad that I didn't give up. Now I can write a blog with no problem. Before I didn't know what was a blog. I didn't know how to make a video. I didn't know how to write a post on Facebook. I didn't know how to do Instagram or TikTok video. But now I'm glad I found a way that I can do everything with no problem. And if you want to learn how to do all those things too, we have like the best digital marketing program out there that can teach you how to do everything if you want to learn how to do it let me know and i will give you everything you need to know all the information and how you can stop so what can stop you from starting your business today so this is what i'm going to talk about today uh, you can come and read the whole blog but i'm just going about what can stop you right now so the first thing i'm going to talk about is the fear of failing a lot of people they don't want to start nothing because they're not sure if they can succeed at it and they don't do it because they don't want to fail and i understand that because in school that's what they teach you you have to be right all the time you don't you can't make mistake and when you make mistake they whoop you everyone knows that that's not a secret for nobody when you make mistake you get a whoop and it is like that in a lot of families mistakes are not allowed but in the business world is different in the entrepreneurship world is different you learn by doing and to do it right you have to make mistakes like most of those entrepreneurs they fail in like six seven business before they find one they can succeed at it if i take like me as an example i fell like in like four five businesses before and this one i can do it with no problem so failure is not a problem if you fear of failing that's mean you will never achieve nothing in, in your life because whatever you want to do you have to fail before you can do it the right way and there's a saying that says fake it until you make it that's me i've been faking it for a long time and now i finally find a way to do it to make it right because i didn't let the fear overcome me and i walked through the fears and i just made it happen so don't let that stop you the fear of failing is the first thing that can stop you from starting your business. And the second is lack of idea. When I say lack of idea, it's not because you don't have idea, but you have so many ideas, you don't know which one to choose. So that's mean all your ideas become nonsense. And if you've been thinking about a business or something you want to do since you were a little child you've been thinking about a kind of business you can do and that can change your life but you're not sure if that can help and you prefer to stay in a job that you hate and I'm telling you you have to pick up that idea and move with it so a lot of people they have too many ideas it's not because they don't have because everybody every single human being they know what to do they just scared that make them like can't move forward and that's traumatize them i don't know how to say the word lack of idea so instead of like lack of idea i can i could say lack of good idea but le leave it like this 
So the third one I'm going to talk about is procrastination. Everyone knows that procrastination is a disease. So what is procrastination? Procrastination is like keep delaying things. Thing you have to do today, you went like, I can, I will do it tomorrow. And the next day, the next day, the next day, you never done nothing. Year pass, year, year, and years pass, you never done nothing because you keep procrastinating. So if you have the habit of procrastinating, you need to stop and start doing something. And a lot of people, they not succeed. And at the end of the day, they regret. And if you ask a lot of old people right now, people who's been retired, and if they, if you talk to them, they will tell you the most regret they have is they didn't use the time the way they, they're supposed to use it. They keep delaying things. Thing they know they have to do that can make them successful and they keep saying that I will do that tomorrow I will do that tomorrow I will do that tomorrow until they get old like 60 65 70 years old and they never do nothing and after their retirement the money that they get cannot do nothing for them and then they had to go and find a set a part-time job most of them like 28 percent of people who after the retirement they die the first third or the fourth years because things are become harder for them because hey job promise you a lot of things but they cannot deliver so if you don't start doing your thing you are in trouble and the fifth is it the fifth or the fourth i don't know so lack of self-discipline some people they're not disciplined at all and they take everything they mix them together when you do it that way you never you can't pick something to do and you just drop everything imagine you you want to start your business and you say well this morning i'm going to do this like you create a schedule because if you don't if you're trying to do business if you don't create a schedule you will be the f word i don't want to say it. if you Discipline yourself, you self-discipline, and you know you have to follow this schedule. You have to do this first, and you do this second, and you will see you can be successful. So lack of self-discipline. Some people, they know they have to wake up at seven in the morning, but they stay in bed until nine. They waste two hours in bed doing nothing, they're not sleeping, they just like having fun. and. The, the thing that make people poor is fun. So if you like fun stuff, you're going for fun, you don't discipline yourself, you don't like take time for fun, time for your family, time for your business, time for your job, you going to have a lot of problem. And the last thing that I am going to talk about is the one mindset having a wrong mindset it's it's almost the same as the fear of failing a lot of people they don't want to go through like nothing they don't understand before they start something they have to, un to understand it first and this is not how it's work you can't learn something you already know you if something you already know you can't learn any new thing because this is not how it's work you have to learn new thing so a lot of people they don't want to learn new thing and they focus on one thing and even that thing don't give the, the bring no result you they stick with it a lot of people they say business is not for me nobody in my family had a business so i don't want to do business because i'm not going to be successful at it. and let me tell you the only way you can be su successful at anything you have to try it. if you don't try it you don't know if you could be successful or not so you have to try and when you go to school what they teach you they teach you how to get a job they don't teach you how to do business even you go to business school they don't teach you how to do business they give you that mindset since you were a child you growing up with it and they tell you you have to be good you have to do everything right all the time and then get a good job have a life that is not true you can have a, a a good life but not not with a regular job even you work three jobs i'm, I'm telling you 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 still going to have problem when you want to retire 
you will see like your bank account is still is still like have no zero like i can say that with zero but has no zero so like if you have one thousand dollars in your bank account that's all you have no more zeros adding to it but if you started your business you can start a business today and at the end you don't want to keep doing the same business you sell it to somebody a lot of people they, they built a business and sold it for million of dollars the mindset you grow up with is one when they tell you you have to be good you have to do everything right and that way you can have a job you can stay in the job until you retire that's one so grow up with a one mindset that can stop you from starting your business and i was listening to dr mile golden and he's a coach and he said in that video his biggest problem is person that have the most intellectual resources more educated people is the person you can't coach because they think they know everything they think like even they doing something and they don't do it right but they think they think right is wrong wrong is right so they cannot make any difference between wrong and right so this is a big problem you grow up with that mindset and you go to school they teach you that so it's gonna be hard to change that and if you go like look at like most all most successful entrepreneur like bill gates and a lot of steve job and a lot of them you will you will find those people they didn't stay in school i don't say they didn't have like they didn't know how to read because school don't teach you how to read school don't teach you how a lot of things they just teach you how to get a job that's it if you want to learn like learn thing that can help you succeed in life school not going to give you those things it's either your parent like education it's either your parent or you have somebody that can train you to be a good person but if you go to school if you rely on school only they only teach you how to get a job that's it so this is it for this video i guess you will learn today what can stop you from starting your business and if you have one of those things or any of them or all five of them you need to start training yourself to a different way of thinking or you, you have to like to change the way you were going and start learning new, new thing start learning what can change your life and what can make you a better person so this is it for this video if you like what i'm doing go to my website you can read more about those things and remember, subscribe, give me a like if you like what I'm doing.